Welcome back to Crack the Windows. In today's video, we'll explore how to set process priority in Windows 11, a technique that can significantly enhance the speed and responsiveness of your applications. So, let's crack the windows and unlock the full potential of your system. Before we dive into the process of setting process priority, let's quickly understand what it is and how it affects program execution. Process priority determines the importance and allocation of system resources to different processes or programs running on your Windows 11 system. When you set a higher priority for a program, the operating system gives it more CPU time and other resources, resulting in improved performance. Windows 11 offers several priority levels, ranging from real-time to low. Real-time gives the highest priority to a process, while low assigns the lowest priority. However, it's important to note that changing process priority can impact system stability, so exercise caution when adjusting these settings. Now that we understand the basics, let's move on to the practical steps. The first thing you need to do is access the task manager. You can simply right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager from the context menu. Alternatively, you can use the convenient keyboard shortcut, Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC. Once you have the task manager open, you'll need to identify the specific program or process you want to prioritize. To do this, navigate to the Processes or Details tab, depending on the version of Windows 11 you're using. Take a moment to locate the program in question. You can sort the list by name or resource usage to make it easier to find the desired program. Now that you've identified the program, it's time to adjust its process priority. Right-click on the program, process, and you'll see a context menu with various options. Hover over the set priority option to reveal the available priority levels. Let's take a closer look at each priority level and their impact on program execution. The highest priority level is real-time. Setting a program to real-time gives it the highest priority. Moving down the priority scale, we have high and above normal. These levels allocate more resources to the program, making it more responsive and ensuring faster execution. The default priority level for most programs is normal. This level strikes a balance between performance and system stability. For background processes or programs that are not time sensitive, leaving them at the default priority level is generally the best approach. It's always a good idea to experiment with different priority levels and observe the impact on performance. Remember, it's important to monitor your system's performance and make adjustments accordingly. The task manager allows you to keep an eye on resource usage and evaluate the effectiveness of your priority adjustments. Setting a program to low ensures it receives minimal resources, which is suitable for non-essential or background tasks that should not impact the performance of other programs. Keep in mind that the ideal priority level may vary depending on the specific program and your system's configuration. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update. And that wraps up our guide on setting process priority to run programs faster in Windows 11. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy computing.